Reasonable pace, 93.2. Little bit of swing, gentle swing. Didn't really hoop in. And that is good pace. Look at it, rock, rock it into the keeper's gloves. Tim Payne. Have to be on his toes when you're keeping to someone like a, a Sean Tate because sometimes he's not the most accurate and at that pace, sometimes find yourself diving all over the place. Cut away. So England and Strauss are away. And he's up against the fight up Sean Tate. And he digs it out. 96.6 miles per hour. And that's hit the bat hard as well. Nearly 97 miles per hour. So a great start for Sean Tate and Australia. One for one. After one. Oh, bad illusioner. Just around 93 miles an hour. Well, he's a big strapping lad. And he's one of these, look at how he collapses on his front leg. You can say he's such a tall bowler. That is nothing to do with it when he lets it go. He's so low. Slip goes in and... 96 miles an hour. <laughs> Ninety-seven miles an hour, and that—he's not thinking of pulling that Strauss. He's just hit him. It's a good shot, but uh, straight to the Australian captain at mid-on. Mid-on. Well, fast but uh, wide down the leg side. Well, trying that quick Yorker again. That's sloppy fielding. Does allow Collingwood to get off the mark and he will keep the strike. 54 for two. I just want to keep an eye on the speed too. He started at 91.4, which of course is sharp. pulled away well didn't get enough of it didn't to carry well well you'll feel he's missed out Twenty-seven gone then. One hundred and eighteen for two. That's quick. Very quick. Good take as well by Payne. Thought about playing the hook shot, Andrew Strauss, and of course he would have thought about it because he saw the length. But it was very quick. Fortunately for him, he didn't get that glove up high enough. Although he went through and rotated his entire body, it wasn't really as if he was playing the shot. <laughs> Very fast to reasonably slow, slower ball. change of action there for Tate. He got both arms up together. Oh. Nearly played onto his stumps. He plays it late, Strauss. 
I think their bowling has gone soft. That's about it. 123 for two. Can he make an impact? Yes, he can. Wow, didn't quite carry. My word, that would have been interesting. 93 mile an hour. First ball of his, what, third spell? I know the little burst, but... Sorry, his fifth spell. Not bad with seven overs. Just out of the reach of Michael Clark. A little tester. Very good, good running as well. Yardi wants to get on strike if he can. Oh, it's the double bluff and it nearly gets through Swan. Yeah, the crowd is saying run, run, run. They do get one more. So Swan will be on strike. 197, 98 for seven. Might be off to see the match referee. Oh, well. Still going at 90, nearly 94 miles an hour. Bit of reverse as well. This is what he does. The old ball, he reverses it. The new ball, he swings it away from the right-handers. He's an exciting cricketer. He's good for the game. straight again handled pretty well from Swan quite comfortably the fastest bowler in the match is he going to be on the winning side now it's another big big appeal Swan's going nowhere Narang's off the arm guard Well, did he get it right? Yes, I think he did. Off the shoulder. Australia are not happy. There's uh, one or two words being said. I'm sure that's just a result of the tension that's built up. Well, must have changed the rules. You can't be out off your shoulder, can you? It didn't look right for me. It's good delivery. <laughs> not, that, not the stifled appeal, but can't be out. So last ball then for Tate. Yeah. Swan somehow gets one, and that's all he'll get. But that is the end of a brilliant, brilliant spell from Sean Tate. Ten overs, three for 29. Fast, aggressive, pacey.